These videos are posted on Instagram. When you look at them, I was using captions similar to Ali Abdal style. What if I told you I used only 10 seconds to create them? Yep, you heard me right. I created them in just 10 seconds using my favorite AI tool. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I created that. All right, guys, let's get started. So the AI tool we'll be using today is called Submagic. It's been one of my favorite AI tool in my workflow. And if you've seen my tutorial videos in the past, I made a video on that two months ago. Well, now they've introduced new features that I had to show you guys. So the AI tool works perfectly with Google Chrome. When you log in, you're gonna go to your homepage just like this then click on create then from here you can either click on this and it's going to direct you to your folder or you can just open your folder and then drag the video in this very side then you can select the language that you were speaking in the video and then click on transcribe with this video i already edited it in a different software but i need captions so i'm going to use submagic ai tool but guess what you can bring in raw videos if you want a quick edit to your videos submagic has this feature called cutout that's going to cut out all the silent part or the pauses that you have in your videos i already did that in the first tutorial so i'm going to leave a card up here you can check on that so the last time when you did a tutorial on this they were having only 12 now they've added more and they are having 21 styles that you can choose from so so far homozy 2 ali and jason has been my favorite from all this so i want to use homozy 2 for this example so i'm just going to click on that and you can see right here on the size you can increase the size on this very side or you can change the position of it mostly i like to put it on the lower third on this very side and then when i play you can see how it looks like so if you want to do more changes to it let's say if you want to change the font and all that you can click on edit dim and they have so many to play around so with the font style you can change it and also with the size you can change it on this side the color the size you can change all of them here now when you're done you can just click on create theme and then we'll go to the caption section the new feature that they added to now with your emojis you can have animations to that so with this let's say i want to add emoji to this very word i'm just going to click on this and this works for only the caption style that has emojis to it so homozy has emojis so we can activate that just click on this emoji sign then i'm going to use this handshake for this and look down here when i play you're trying to trust you and you can see it's animated it inside very cool and clean if you want to add emojis to your stuff and if you don't want the animations on the emojis you can just click on the style remember on this side let me go back and show you guys homozy we selected that you can just go to edit dim scroll down and then animations you can just turn it off by clicking on no but if you want it you can just leave it on yes and then you can just click on create dim and on the caption style you can do changes if it got it wrong but mostly it's always getting somewhere 95 percent accuracy and i really like that so let's say if you want to do changes to let's say the make you can just click on that delete the word and then type in the correct word and then it's gonna enter on that side also if you want to move a word next to the next line you can see they have all these options here i can just click on move to next line and it's going to come into the next line also if i want to add a new captions on this very side i can just click on plus and it's going to activate a new one then i can type in whatever i want to type in and now the fun part when you go to bureaus they've introduced new features on this very side i'm going to show you guys so if you want the ai tool to add bureaus to your videos you can just click on the magic bureaus and it's going to add them but usually i don't use that so on this side i want to add bureaus to that i was talking about clients so i'm just going to click on the plus sign and it's going to bring me this window now i'm going to select the bureau then i will click on this play icon and guess what now they've collaborated with storyblocks and you can get access to videos and stock footage from storyblocks and you know storyblocks is a website that you can get access to royalty free videos and images and they're collaborating with them it's amazing now you can get very good professional videos from storyblocks so with this i'm just gonna type in client 
you can see it's gonna give me so many videos from story blocks that I can use and if you want to see how it looks like just click on that and it's gonna give you a preview and show you how it's gonna look like so then I can just be clicking on them to see exactly which one I want to use if I'm not happy with them I can just click on load more and it's gonna bring me more options and then I can still be clicking on that and seeing how it looks like so from the look of things, I'm going to select this very one. The guy looks happy. It match with whatever I was saying in the video. So now I can just click on apply. And on this side, before you apply the video, let me show you one cool thing about this. You can add transitions to the B-rolls that you just added. When you click on the foam band and I play and show you guys, it's this. you can see how it looks like. It adds a little bit foam band to it. Let's click on that and go and change it. You can clean on this very ones they have so many transitions on this side if you want to zoom fast and zoom out you can easily choose one from here most of the videos on story blocks are shot in YouTube format so when you look at it this is IG format so then we can move it on the sideways and position it exactly where we want it to look like so this is really cool so let's say if i want their face to show i can just move it on this side or if i want this guy's face to show i can also move it so when you're happy with it you just click on apply and it's going to apply on that very side and another new feature they added now you can add gifs and images to your edit let me show you guys when I click on this very envelope icon, when you look at that, when you click on that, it's going to bring you the GIF and also the images. Then when you scroll down, let's say if I want to add GIF, I can click on that and then click on this icon. Then I can search for whatever I want to search for. So let me see, remember. And then it's going to bring me so many GIF I want to use. This is really cool. When you click on more, you can see it have so many that you can add to it. And with this, I'm just going to use this very girl. So I'm just going to click on apply. Then also you can position it at the top or at the down. And also with the size, you can increase the size if you want to. And then when I play and show you guys, that you've turned a it has cool animation to it too this is really cool so just like we did you can also add images let's click on here click on images then click on this icon they have free ones that comes with some magic so you can just click on free images and then search for whatever you want to search for so I'm just going to click on PNG. But then when you click on premium images, now you can still select from story blocks, quality images from story blocks. So let's say if I want to search for guys, I'm just going to type it in and it's going to bring me a lot of them. If I don't like it, I can click on load more and it's going to bring me more of those images. Then I can just select one of them and click on apply and just like we did it with the GIF you can change the position of it and also you can change the size of it if you want to and then you can just click on apply now when you're done with the b-roll section just click on publish and i'm going to show you another new feature they added so when you look at this hook title that's the new feature that they added let me take this to the starting and show you when you look at the starting it has nothing on there let me turn it on and then show you guys what it does the ai tool is going to generate a title for you transform boring png files it matches exactly what i was saying in the video in this video i was saying how to transform your png files from boring to exciting one and it gives me a very clean title that i can use for my videos this is really amazing if you don't like it you can click on regenerate and it's going to generate a new title for you and when you look down here you can change the theme to whatever theme that you want to go for but mostly I like the impact so I'm just going to leave it on impact and then you can change the position of it then with the size you can change the size to on this very side and one thing to the colors you can change it on this very side just select this and click on this very color panel then from here you can choose the colors that you want to use so with this i want it to be yellow so i'm just going to choose that and close that and you can see it activate on this very side when you are happy with this you can easily add your own songs to it let me just click on this 
and then click on add music over here these are songs that are already added to this if you want to add the song you can just go to your folder drag the song and drop it on this very side when you are happy with it you just click on apply and it's going to apply to your video now when i play and show you guys this one tip is gonna make it more we can still turn down the volume on this side also you can just click on description and hashtags just click on them and it's going to generate hashtags and description for you that you can use under your videos when you're happy with everything just go to export click on that and it's going to export your videos and now the pricing it starts with a trial version which is free but comes with a watermark and then you can upgrade to starter pro or agency all right guys catch you on the next one peace